Thank you for allowing me to be with you today. God bless you. Father, teach us your ways uh, that we may teach others in Jesus' name. And today's lesson is Keepers of the Gate. Now, let's uh, go a little farther here and see what that means. Keepers of the Gate. What the heck could, could I possibly mean by that? Uh, you live uh, you live your life as uh, as all do, uh, yet you know you uh, you are missing something. Remember, I remember back in the, uh, in the 1960s, uh, seemed it seemed a lot of people were were trying to uh, to find themselves. I thought, what the heck are they uh, are talking about? Seemed so nutty, uh, and, and in a sense it was, but. Uh, did they lose their mind and, and, and going around trying to find it? Maybe with a flashlight uh, looking under the bed uh, for, the, for their brain? Uh, I didn't understand it. Eventually, uh, though, I understood uh, uh, with a little help uh, from talking to others. Uh, they were just lost in drugs and searching for more. They knew they were missing something. Uh, knowing uh, there must be more uh, to life, yet never finding it. You'll never find it through drugs. Uh, when we were born, uh, God placed us in uh, 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 placed in us a desire to learn and grow. Yet even uh, with that, uh, we need a little guidance to steer us in the in the in the right direction. When people are searching uh, for something and, and they just can't figure out uh, what it is, uh, they stay puzzled. And if nobody comes along and helps, they'll stay that way many times. The reason the, the Lord sent us uh, out to teach uh, these things uh, that others may find their way. Uh, Mark uh, sixteen fifteen. And he said unto them, uh, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh, most people are, are naive uh, about about many things. Uh, if you don't know something, uh, uh, well, let's say you're putting a, a something together and it's got a lot of parts. If you don't know how to do it, it can be really difficult, and you it just looks. Uh, something that you can't can't do and you don't know how to do it so uh, <clears throat> because they have little knowledge of certain things uh, they may think almost anything about uh, about it just uh, just as we did before we uh, came to know the Lord or got the instruction we needed uh, many did not understand why they need saved uh, or why they uh, need God at, uh, at all. Or even, uh, is, is there a God? Uh, <clears throat> even while I was growing up, uh, I was told uh, knowledge is power. I used to hear that all the time. And I didn't want to study. <laughs> I wasn't one, uh, wasn't one of the best students. I made it, though. Uh, really, I thought just uh, just shrugging. Uh, really, that's really the way it went, and uh, just shrugged my shoulders and and thought uh, no more about it. Just went off and did what I was going to do. For I had little interest in studying it anything, uh, let alone be uh, bothered with the inconvenience of searching for God. Uh, one day, though, uh, I learned a good lesson. My English teacher uh, came to my desk, and I was having a lot of trouble uh, understanding how to break down sentences, and I, it just would not click for me. And she must have sensed that. Uh, so she came to my desk and, and said, uh, I see you're having uh, trouble with this. Would you like a little help? Uh, we all need help at one time, don't we? Uh, to guidance and, uh, you know... Uh, even instructions, reading the, reading the book is the instruction which is supposed to guide you. Uh, sure, I said as, uh, as she started uh, breaking down sentences, uh, 
uh, in a way that uh, that I could understand. Show me the meanings and, and why uh, and there's different sections in a sentence. He even going as far as uh, as helping me break them down to I to in my mind uh, it it finally clicked and I understood uh, what was uh, uh, what was going on. Uh, should we not go uh, to those who do, who do not know or understand God? Approaching them with uh, kindness and patience, understanding. Uh, they are new to the concept, and that's the way I was in that English. And it uh, uh, and it must click uh, for them uh, as it does for for us all. For some, uh, the moment comes uh, right away. Some people just, it just, ah, I understand. For others, uh, it, it will come when, uh, when, it, it, uh, when it is put in a term that they will understand. As many as, uh, as there are people, so also are the experiences uh, we have stored in our minds and how we, do, how we look at things. So when, my, so when we hear something, uh, it, uh, it does not click without uh, further help. Now, when Nicodemus uh, heard that, uh, that you must be born again uh, to enter into heaven, he was puzzled. Like I was with the uh, New Agers and all in the 60s. Even though, even though he was a teacher of the St. Hedron, he could not understand uh, the concept of uh, of what uh, being born again meant. In John 3, 1, uh, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, uh, we know that you are a teacher uh, from God, for no man can do the, the miracles that you do except God be with him. Jesus answered and said, and what he said unto him, Verily, verily, which means truly, truly, or this is how it goes. That's the other version of it. I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said, uh, said unto him, Now how can a man be born uh, when he is old? And he goes back, he enter back into his uh, second time, into his mother's womb and be born. Now see, he had uh, no concept of what Jesus was talking about. And so therefore it would not click. And he needed further understanding. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, a little teaching, uh, and then, uh, then comes the understanding. Uh, the fact is, many of us, uh, many, many go through life uh, not knowing uh, there is more than uh, than what they uh, see and uh, and what they uh, and uh, look about and uh, look around and and comprehend. They just don't comprehend it. They see the gra the trees, the grass, the homes, and and so on, never realizing there is more to know and understand. Uh, yet they uh, they are content with their lives, never understanding uh, their eyes need opened before it is too late. And because it's going to come on them, uh, whether uh, they understand, they know or not. And if they don't come out of the darkness, then they will be spending some time in the lake of fire, and they won't be going to heaven. And that's not good. That's why, uh, you know, we need to be out there uh, waving them in. Many, because they are not uh, knowledgeable, lead others uh, uh, in their blindness. Uh, then, uh, then neither know, uh, know any better. They're both stupid then, or blind. Luke 6, uh, 39, and he, uh, and he spoke a parable unto them. Can a blind man lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? Because that's, uh, you know, if you, if you get off track, 
and you're not corrected, uh, you'll lead others that way, and you'll both fall in a ditch, or you'll both go to hell, or the lake of fire, because you you don't know. And that's our that's your job. That's saints. Uh, that's your job to 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 bring them in and, and to show them the uh, the way. There's so many uh, false religions out there. They take half of uh, uh, God's word and they go with it and they teach others. Uh, and uh, this religion's better than this one, and this one's better than this one. And and the fact is, uh, uh, the majority of them are wrong because they don't follow the full scripture. They're not following God's word; they're following a the doctrine that they created. Uh, they uh, they are a little sheep, uh, as little sheep uh, to the slaughter, even to the point of death, because no one stops to uh, enlighten them. As they walk right past the, the open gate, where they could uh, could have escaped uh, their demise, uh, they will have no future, uh, for no one uh, was at the gate to to tell them uh, to come uh, come this way. Will you be uh, the one who tells them? Somebody has to. Uh, the word tells us uh, the blind will lead the blind. But Jesus tells us uh, to warn them, and if uh, and if they will not listen, uh, then their blood is on their hands. Likewise, if uh, if you tell them not, uh, their blood uh, will be required at your hand. That's not good. <clears throat> Likewise, if uh, if they turn, you have gained a brother, and uh, and and that life will be saved. Isn't that much better to put a little effort forward? And did you know that uh, uh, that your uh, that your uh, your glow in heaven will depend on on, uh, on what you do here on earth? And uh, for every soul that you uh, that you, uh, you know, you'll shine like a diamond, your crown will be uh, glorious. And and the more souls that you search for and and and, and brought to Christ. Okay, you're, 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 you will glow even that much farther. And when the Lord looks through heaven, he'll see light and dark and some maybe even black that never did a thing. So uh, in Luke uh, 19.10, for the son of man is come to seek and to save them, which, which uh, that was, uh, was lost. That's the reason he came, to seek us out. Or we wouldn't even be saved, even the saints. Mark 16.15, and... He said unto them, Go, go you and, and to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow those that believe. These are just uh, a couple. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And uh, you need both, but you need more than that. And 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 he's. And the power is there to, to do all kind of, excuse me, all kind of healing. But you need those tongues, okay? They shall speak with new tongues. And that speak uh, new tongues, that is a language of God. For he's spirit. And that spirit that, that dwells in you when you're filled with the Holy Ghost is what speaks that language. But you also need the discernment. Because otherwise it's just gibberish. Now you have no idea what the Spirit's saying. And he wants you to know so that you can direct that prayer. Uh, will you let the Spirit move you uh, to reach out uh, to them? Our Father, which uh, is in heaven, uh, hear, our, hear our request today. Make us teachers uh, who will talk to others about you, not being ashamed, and rightly dividing the word of God of truth. That means we studied. Send us, Lord, to to those who would uh, would have you would have us to talk to. Uh, guide our steps uh, and the words uh, from our mouth, Lord. We will we know, for you have said, the harvest is ripe, but the labors are few. Put uh, put it in your uh, your put it into pen a, put it in us your heart of love for our brothers that we may love them enough to ask them to church or to Bible study or to fellowship. 
for the lake of fire is very hot and and forever uh, is a long time let us not be too lazy to speak to them uh, set us uh, set us Lord in, in, into the highways and byways seeking those near uh, to change their hearts one message at a time compelling them to come uh, to you in Jesus name help us to stand at the gate okay there is a straight gate to help them uh, find their way uh, into the kingdom of God now we don't want them to walk by and we see them now uh, you know and we don't wave them in to the right gate to the to the straight gate they're not going to make it in Matthew 7:13, enter in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate that and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which uh, go in the, in through that gate, and that's because there's nobody there to wave them into the good gate, to the straight gate, to teach them what they need to know to find Christ. Will you go out and and be a gatekeeper? Now, if, uh, if anyone has a need, uh, let us go before our Father, uh, ask and receive in, in Jesus' name. Now, so let us pray. Uh, Father, we come to you now, oh God, just for every need, every heart, oh God, tenderize our heart, humble our hearts, oh God, that we will love our brother like you were, we we're supposed to do and forgive him. And Lord, we just love you, Lord. Lord, help us to help others to make it to the kingdom. La konde kaoro konde be ko sare kite bakoka. La konde kala konde ro kara baria to no ro kate. Konda kaji ko ro kara biga ro ko ro bakata bakake. No konde kala konda ro basha kiri bakore kata bakoka. Shikara konda ro basha In Jesus' name. Well. Praise the Lord. Uh, it was good being with you again today. Uh, love being with you. I love telling you uh, uh, how to serve the Lord and and, uh, and to bring others in. And we need to do that. Uh, if you have any concept of, uh, of love for your children, you should love your brothers in the same way. Man, because if you have the bigger picture, you realize that they are. Uh, the human race is fighting the evil. Uh, that is in the world, and there is much of it, and uh, you're their only hope. You're the only hope they have. So uh, God bless you, and be a, a gatekeeper in Jesus' name.